So if you're a high school or college student that constantly has to cite sources at the end of papers and do research and it has to be in the proper MLA format or APA format, then I recommend this app Cite It Now. And it does a really good job of finding like books and websites and, and just really quickly correctly citing it in the right format that you want. And you can also make different folders. So it's just a really convenient citation app. So if you're a college student or high school student also, and your school uses Canvas for the classes and for the assignments, then I recommend getting the app and downloading it into your phone or tablet because you get the notifications straight on your devices and you can see when someone graded your assignment or there's any important notifications from the class. And another thing is, as you can see here, you can transfer your Canvas calendar with all your classes and deadlines and assignment dates, and you can transfer it to your Google Calendar if you use Google Calendar by just copying the link. I show the steps here, but you just copy the link and essentially paste it into the Google Calendar. And that way you don't have to manually put in all of the assignment dates, which can take a really long time. If you're someone who struggles with math and science like me and needs really good explanations to really understand a certain subject, or if you can't get enough of math and science and you really want to advance your skills, then the best way to actually really actively learn the material is by applying it yourself. And that's exactly what Brilliant allows you to do. So Brilliant is a problem solving app and site that guides you through different problems that are then broken down into different digestible explanations and something that I really love about it is that if you missed a question, they have really detailed explanations of why you missed it. And that way you can correct your mistakes, which is super important for actually truly learning something. So to check out and learn more about Brilliant, go to this link and sign up for free. And also the first 200 people that go to this link will get 20% off of the annual premium subscription. So Quizlet is a really great flashcard app. And what's great about it is that you can A, find even other people's flashcard sets. If they're similar to what you're learning in your class and you don't feel like making an entire set by yourself. But something that's also great is when you're creating your own, they even give suggestions for certain words or, or phrases when you type them in. So it makes it even faster to make your own sets. And it's overall just a really great flashcard app that can make it really easy to learn vocabulary.
So next up is Notion, which I've been using this past semester to organize my school files and pretty much everything related to school. I also use it occasionally for to-do lists. And if you want to see kind of my full setup, you can watch my Get Organized With Me online classes video from a little while back, but I pretty much just use it to put in all my digital notes from my iPad and just export it and put it into Notion and have it organized. And I also just have some basic, you know, university information that I feel like I need and I want organized. I find it especially useful for your school life and just have everything nicely organized in one place. So next up are two apps related to sleep. So the first one is Sleep Town and I used it for around four months when I was really trying to fix my sleep schedule. I haven't used it for a while but I do recommend checking it out. Also kind of like a game format where every single time that you go to sleep on time and wake up on time you get a little house or building built in your little town and you can just keep growing it and growing it and growing it and it's just a really cool idea because it also makes it feel like your sleep schedule fixing is a game and then there's also the app alarmy which is just for making it easier for you to get out of bed in the morning by by essentially torturing you and making you do math problems the first thing you wake up or walking or shaking it um, or doing memory problems and the memory problems scarred me but <laughs> I also haven't used it lately because I've been using just my a light alarm clock which really wakes me up but if you want an app that makes it really difficult to go back to sleep then I recommend Alarmy. So next up is Coursera and Coursera is essentially just where you can access university level courses from top universities, universities all over the world and in any subject from philosophy to astronomy. A lot of you ask where you could study astronomy. Any subject that you're interested in, they'll have some kind of course on it. And the vast majority of them are free. You can actually pay to get a certificate, but I haven't really done that. But if you want to, you can do that. Are you going to show me how amazing they are? <laughs> you found it? Wow. Watch out! Ah! This game really stresses me out. <laughs> this game really stresses me out. It gets faster and faster and faster. 